You know what everybody loves? When a show has such a good ending, it just ties everything together, like it feels finished, you feel satisfied. You still kind of want to watch more, but you feel satisfied with the ending and you know, yes, that's how it should have ended. And then, <laughs> and then they keep it going. They add another season and they do that three times. Everybody loves that. That's everybody's favorite, ruining endings of shows. One very good example of that is Stranger Things. Now, keep in mind, this is a show that I really, really like. I watched the first season and I thought, I mean, the story wasn't anything special. It was pretty cliche and been heard a million times, but the way it was shot and the way it was filmed and, you know, the different perspective of it, seeing it from more of the kids' point of view, it was just, it made it all very interesting. And after season one ended, I kind of thought, okay, that's it, that's wrapped up. I mean, I would watch another season. I hope there's another season, maybe. But it feels wrapped up. And lo and behold, they did do a season two, which I wasn't mad at, because, you know, it was just one season, one short little season, and we all wanted another one. And we were all happy. So season two comes along. Season two is a little bit weird, but still good. It's still good. It's not bad. My hair is flopping like crazy. Should have actually done my hair before I started recording, but no, because I am unprofessional. <laughs> and then season two ends in another big, big ending way. And we all think, bravo, it's done. Two seasons. Yeah, you put it all nicely together, second season, we all knew it was a little bit unnecessary, but we all enjoyed it and nobody was mad, we thought, yay, two seasons, great, we're done, there's no more that can be added to the story. And then, season three. What the hell was that? <laughs> season three of Stranger Things comes along completely uninvited, might I add. Nobody really wanted it, and those who did are stupid. But season three comes along and we have Russians. That That's what happened. Russia. Russia is the theme of season three and then also they tried to get into more, you know, 80s fashion and stuff. Let's be cool and quirky and be more 80s. It wasn't a bad season. It was good. It was just the whole time I watched it I couldn't help thinking this season is completely unnecessary. There is no reason for it, the story was over, you're just bringing in Russians now to add some kind of weird interest to it because there's no more story that you can make just, just in Hawkins alone. It, it just, the whole thing didn't sit right with me. And I, even when it was over, I was like, they should have ended it with season two. They just should have ended it. And I, I thought of all these other shows that do the exact same thing. They have the three season rule, you know, they do one season really good, two, it's a little bit unnecessary, but you know, we're gonna roll with it. And then three, what the fuck? was that we all thought okay we all truly 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 believed that season three was the end of it because mm, spoilers if you didn't already know this so a little bit of a spoilers hopper died monster was defeated everybody was happy yay but we're like the story's over it's over hopper's dead monster's dead will Moving across the country, can't remember where, don't really care where he's going, but he's leaving. The story is over. But no, that's not enough for them because the show is too popular, they're selling so much merch, people love it, they adore it. And so Netflix dropped, again, uninvited, a teaser trailer for what appears to be season four. And again, spoilers, but not really spoilers because it's in the teaser. Hopper's alive in Russia. We're still on the Russians. I don't get it. <laughs> They're ruining their own show. And I can understand the appeal of, you know, this is gonna make a lot of money and the fans wanna watch it and the actors wanna be in it and all of this stuff. And you can make so much money from doing another season. But is that worth ruining what your show is about? I realize I've been flopping this pen at you the entire time. It's not aggressive at you, it's aggressive at Netflix. <laughs> it's just, it's just, people aren't going to remember the core of the show if you keep building and building and changing the fundamentals of it. People are gonna remember the shitty ending, which is eventually gonna happen. What if they do a season four and then that's not enough and they do a season five and then they do like a season six with a whole new cast with the same monster, which feels like something they would actually do. And the worst part is, 
people are going to watch it and it's going to make them money and they're going to keep making the show and making it worse and ruining what was a really really cool show i don't why what netflix look at me netflix 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 why truly answer me that answer me why i don't understand why you're doing this why you're ruining your own shows is it just for the money? Can you not, if it has to be something Stranger Things related, could you not do like some kind of spin-off? It's not gonna do as well, it's probably gonna be shit, but at least you're not ruining the, the show that you've already created and I just don't get it. So Netflix, you're not listening to me. In fact, you are a company made up of lots of people and Stranger Things is also made up of lots of people. So, but I'm just going to talk to Netflix, the imaginary entity, for the, uh, not comedic value, but some sort of content value of this video. Stop. That's it, just stop. Just, just stop. Anyway guys, I ranted about Netflix for long enough, that's all I'm gonna say on the Strangers Thing matter. I think this is a terrible idea, and they're messing everything up, but if you want to tell me what your opinions are on it then do leave that in the comments i would be happy to hear what you think about it also don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications when i upload and finally please don't forget to share this video with a friend if you think somebody would be interested i'm sorry for my wavering light and my weird shadowy contrast thing and my hair but that's what you get on my channel okay we don't have a high budget here in fact our budget zero. That's the budget. <laughs> anyway guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Please. <laughs>